Uh, number 10. So for this one, it says from 1 to 10, we get 4. And then from 10 to 3, which is backwards, right? 10 to 3, that's, that's going from right to left on the number line. Uh, we get 7. So what the heck would um, 1 to 3 be? Okay, so I'm going to use uh, an X axis here to kind of help us along. So 1 to 10, uh, whatever that answer might be is 4, or whatever that, that looks like um, from here to here is 4. Now, uh, this one says, the blue one says from 10 to 3, so when we go backwards, uh, it would be positive 7. Um, so what would that mean if we went forwards? If we were to flip these, what would this answer be? It would be negative 7. So that's kind of interesting. So from here to here, from negative 3 to 10, it would be a negative 7. Huh. Now I, I'm doing that because I like reading left to right. I don't like to read right to left. And so essentially, essentially what I did is I changed uh, the 3 and the 10. I flipped them, which you're allowed to do, except you need to then uh, make it a negative. And so um, that means if I multiply both sides by negative 1, uh, 3 to 10 would be a negative 7. Alrighty, so what the heck would this be? What would from 1 to 3 be? Oh man, I kind of messed up my colors. This was supposed to be orange. Okay, what would 1 to 3 be? Um, so question mark plus negative 7 equals 4. What would that be? What would that question mark be? Oh, you just have to add 7 to both sides, right? And so the question mark would be um, 13, no, 11. Sorry, I know how to add. <laughs> that one was that one's trippy that one's a level two but i feel like it's not that difficult if you could do the number line thing like what i just did and i guess understand this part right here that if you switch to the lower and the upper bounds that your answer changes signs